All right, hello guys, this is Nathan, uh, better known as Outraged Human on Slack or Twitter. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do the Windows Wallet import. Uh, so after you finish the swap process and you created your Ubic address, uh, this is going to show you how to then import that Ubic address into the Go Ubic client. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the GitHub Ubic page right there. And we're going to go to the releases section right here. Just make sure that you're on the latest version. It should always be at the top of this page. And currently that version is 1.5.8. But I wouldn't expect this process to change in future versions. So any version that you're on, it should work for. Now since we're on Windows, we're going to go ahead and click on this one right here. Give it a moment to download. And once that downloads, the easiest thing to do is to left click it right here, and then click Run. And then you should see something like this. Uh, but if your browser is a little bit different and it does not have that bar down there, then go ahead and browse to the Downloads folder and just double click it from here, that'll do the same thing. Okay, so I usually let it get to this part here where it's uh, where it's synced everything up and um, and then you can go ahead and, and close it out at this point. We just needed that to generate the files at the following directory, percent app data percent, hit enter, and now we're in the roaming folder where we see this ubic folder here. This wouldn't have been here previously. And the directory that we're after is this key store directory right here. It'll be empty before you go in and actually create an account. Um, so if you see, if you already see some lines in here, it probably just means that you've already created your account inside of the ubic wallet. Um, it, it's not anything to worry about. We'll be able to sort it out once we get the key imported. It'll actually show both accounts. So the next step is when you finished your swap, uh, you should have been able to download a file from this website. Uh, that file will have a long uh, string of characters as the name of it. Um, and in case you didn't import or didn't download the correct wallet, you may have to choose this private key option and paste the private key in here. Uh, and I'll show you kind of what that'll look like by importing my wallet, which I saved here. Uh, it's just a test wallet. This is the password I used for it. So I'll paste that in and click on lock. All right, and so this is basically that entire account. And if you didn't download the correct file, then the one that you want to pick is right here, this one in the middle. Uh, it's an encrypted wallet for Geth. Um, this is actually for Ubic, but the coins are very similar as far as the accounts go, so uh, this part will work for either ETH, ETC, or Ubic. So go ahead and click Download here. And now we can go back to our Downloads folder and we'll see that it downloaded right here. Now all you need to do is just either right click on this and choose copy or highlight it and choose control and hit control C on your keyboard. And then we're gonna go back to the app data folder, percent app data percent, enter. Go back to the ubic directory, back into key store, and then right click paste or Control V. All right, so now we've got that in there. So let's go back once again to the downloads directory and let's fire off the Gubic client. And once you see this line here, this IPC endpoint opened, that means that we should be able to attach to the console. So a little tip for that is if you're inside of the downloads directory, if you hold down the shift key, and then right click, you'll get this open command window here option. And that'll pull this up, but you'll notice that it's already in that working directory. So we're already in the downloads directory. 
Uh, so if I were to do a dir command, we would see the client is right here. So if you start typing that client name and then hit tab, it'll auto-complete it for you. And the only command that we need is attach. So the name of the executable, space, attach, and then press enter. And this is what you should see. Uh, just a little bit of output, and then an open command prompt with a blinking cursor here, just letting us know that it's ready uh, to take commands. So a really simple command is eth.block number with a capital N, and that just gets you the current number, uh, block number or block height that you're currently at. Uh, so it's just a way to make sure that the commands are working and everything. So now if you do personal dot uh, list accounts, boom, it lists the accounts. And you'll notice that this ends with D1ABE. And if we go back here, D1ABE is our wallet address. So we have successfully imported this key, and that's all there is to it. Now you can look up the commands uh, to send your funds to a different address or uh, do what you need to do. You can verify your account balance, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to the Windows import. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions.